Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about show all wishlisted products. So let's see how can we show all wishlisted products in a separate page. For that, uh, let's create a new live wire component. So switch to the command prompt. And for creating the new live wire component, uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire space component name. Uh, let's say component name is wishlist component all right now press enter component created now run the application so just write here php artisan sir all right now switch to the project and now let's create the route for this component so let's go inside the routes directory then open a web.php file and inside this file uh, let's create a new route so after this route just write here route colon colon get add here the uri class wish list and the class name uh, wish list component colon colon class all right and now uh, also give the route name so just write your name and let's say name is product dot wish list all right now save this file now go to the wishlist component class file so for that just go inside the app directory http live wire and from here just open wishlist component.php file all right inside this file let's add here the layout so let's write here layout and directory name layouts dot layout name which is base all right now save this file now go to the uh, Wishlist component view file. So just go inside the resources directory, then views, uh, live wire, and from here just open wishlist component .php file. All right, and now select all the text and remove this. And now go to the swap component uh, .php file, this one, and from this file, uh, let's copy uh, this div okay uh, this breadcrumb drip this one this zip okay and this main tag so just select from here to here okay now just copy and paste inside with this computer blooded php file all right and now just close this container div so right here like this and also close here the main tag all right, now change here the text and add here this list, okay. And for the home link, remove this hash sign and add here forward, okay. Now save this. Okay, now just go to the soft component uh, .php file, this file, and uh, uh, from here, uh, let's copy this row. So just select this row from here to here okay and just copy and paste inside this container okay so after this step we just paste here okay now make some changes inside this code so just first of all remove this code and before this evil tag uh, just add here if if at colon colon instance and let's add the instance which is with list arrow contained okay let's just call here the count okay count if count is greater than zero uh, it means a part which is this is with list and their content is greater than zero okay then uh, execute this line of code okay Otherwise, uh, just add here the else, else part and uh, inside this, uh, just print here each port tag no item in this list. Okay. And after this, just put here in if. Okay. Alright, now this uh, for each directory. Uh, just add here, just remove this and add here the cart, column, column, 
distance and instance name uh, which is this list arrow contained okay as item correct now uh, just select this product okay and press ctrl plus d for selecting all okay and now just remove this product and add an item okay and also add the model arrow model all right and uh, from here uh, if you see here the if directive uh, just cut this anchor tag this link and paste before this if directive okay paste here and now just remove this if directive all right now let's add the css for this uh, heart icon so from the top component of little php file uh, let's copy this style set uh, from here to here the css is copy and uh, paste just before this the row tag okay all right now save this now go to the soft component class file so for that just go at the app directory the static live wire and from here just open soft component.php file and from this file uh, let's copy this method remove from this list this one so just select from here to here and copy and go to the wishlist complete class file and paste inside this class okay before the render method all right now save this and also import the card so let's try to use card. okay now save this file now let's uh, add the link to the this icon the first icon so for that uh, just go to the wishlist count complete file and inside this file you can see here the anchor tag here so inside this href just add here the double curly packet then route and add here the route name, which is product dot uh, with list okay and this route name so when you came to copy this and just simply paste here okay all right now save this all done so let's check this so switch to the browser and refresh the page all right now let's click on this icon and you can see here this time there is no any item in this list so you can see here the message no item in this list okay now let's add some product uh, uh, to this list so just go to the top page and here uh, i'm just going to add this one so click on this icon product added you can see here one item uh, let's one add one more product so just click on this all right two item now just click on this link and here you can see product okay uh, let's reduce some size of the product so for that inside the request component blade file uh, let's add here uh, call lz3 okay and now save this and now refresh the page okay now it's looking good now let's add one uh, some more product so just click on soft we'll add this product so just click on the thing add it product added now go to the next piece and from here just add this one this one this one 
Okay, also I'll do that. And now click on web list. And you can see here a product. Okay, four product in first row and four product in second row. All right. Now let's remove uh, even product from the web list. So just click on this icon again. And you can see here product has been removed and you can see here they want to all right so in this way you can show all the wish listed products in a separate page so that's all about so all wish listed products so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching